Laura. I'm a single mom. I have three kids. They all have medical conditions and two of the three also have special needs. My older son has more severe special needs and will need lifelong care. He is 19 years old. When he turned 18, I had to go to court and do guardianship so I could continue to help him with his medical and legal things, his decisions, things like that. Um, when he turned 18 also, I was able to join the IRIS program, which is a program in Wisconsin for people to be their relatives, um, paid caregiver. And they did offer me 40 hours a week. I was unable to take the 40 hours a week because if I would have accepted that, that means that we would have lost our health and our health care benefits, which my son and my daughter who are on that particular health care plan, they have medications that they take that there's no way I could afford. My middle son takes Humira, for example, yeah. and there's no way I could afford that out of pocket and all the specialists they see, all the doctor's visits, everything else. So I had to calculate what I could accept and still keep our health care. So I did that. And I think it was like, I could accept 30 hours a week. So, and it does, it's an enormous help because it allows me to care for my son and still get some money to pay our bills, things like that. Because I have guardianship over my son, his SSI money goes in a special account that's just for him and his needs. And every year I have to do an accounting of this account because I'm the guardian of that as well. And that's, oh, that's a very nerve wracking thing. I had to, I've done it twice now. And when you don't do it right, they send it back to you and you can be threatened with court dates and all this stuff and they don't really help you. You're just thrown into it. You just have to learn how to do it on your own and it's tough. And, you know, there's a lot of barriers too because, well, some of them are just, okay, I don't drive. So we rely on buses. We rely on rides from, you know, like my children's aunt, things like that. There is a Medicaid program that will provide transportation, but I can't use it because of the rules of this program. You can only take the child whose appointment it is for, you cannot take any additional children. So if you don't have childcare, well then I guess you can't go to that appointment and use that ride. So you have to find your own way. And, you know, it would be a lot easier if I could, you know, just, oh, I can schedule a ride and we can go to Marshfield. There's been so many times that I've had to cancel and reschedule appointments. And they send us to Marshfield a lot because we have so many specialists for the my three kids and yeah that's a pretty big barrier that's not only and it all ties in the financial the the health care access everything it does and like you just kind of feel stuck that things don't ever get better because you have to stay where you are you can't improve your life really it's just triage every day is triage you just try to deal with what you have to deal with and take care of your worst problems and you know kind of leave the others to deal with when you have to um so yeah like i said my older son will need lifelong care i'm going to do that for as long as i can I know someday I probably won't be able to anymore and I'm afraid I don't want to have to have him live in a group home or somewhere else but that day will come and it's hard to navigate the system to find options options that you can live with 